welcome to Funk Studios Control the Cool. I'm Joe Woods. I'm with my partner, Slim Sully. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our other partner, um, A. Kessler. He has some stuff to get through. He might swim through, he might not, depending. But um, what's up, my, my man? My man was good, was good. Yeah, we're all right. down for you. I'm gonna eat all the I'm gonna eat all the sweetest fish that you got. I was yeah. gonna eat it. <laughs> sweetest fish, baby. Got the sweetest fish. fish. <laughs> uh, today's topic is gonna be it's it's kind of a juicy one. All right. It's about high value men or just men of value and how it plays out in the dating scene. Okay. Mm. Uh, we're going to give our, give our views on it, and also we're going to speak on some backlash two high-profile uh, men have gotten from this type of topic. One of them is um, Aubrey Huff, and, he, and the other one is Kevin Sanders. Uh, we're going to get into it right now. Um, we're going to start off with Mr. Huff. He's a former baseball player, all right? and. He was discussing, let me see here, let's pull this up real quick for everybody to take a look at. Here you go, all right. He made a remark about men, single men. He said, I never understood as a man why you would date or marry a single mother if you are single with no kids of your own. Seems to me he doesn't feel as he has options or doesn't value himself as a man. I feel like I would be a backup plan helping raise another man's kids. Okay. And if you scroll, if you, know, if you scroll down, you see some real, really nasty backlashes. Some say you don't understand about manhood, you feel the airplane hanger. You know, <laughs> have fun being an incel bro, you know. And the list goes on. I mean, this, <laughs> it just goes on. Yeah. And another one, what kind of a weak ass man can handle a woman having children from a previous relationship? Fragile masculinity is rampant in your snowflakes. Toughen up, button up. Toughen up, button up. Yeah, you know what, man? <clears throat> I'm going to jump right on it. <clears throat> Both feet, I'm going to just jump right on in, right? So, okay, letting people know this right now. Me, my wife and I, my first two children, this is a moment for history. I'm letting people know a part of me that, you know, love the side of myself. So, my, my son and my daughter, um, my oldest, are not my biological children. But I was in my son's life since he was five months and my daughter's life since she was two years old. Now, she's 29 and he is 27. They are my <laughs> children. Call me dad. I have the responsibility of being a father. I learned how to get through the steps of being a father throughout life. And we have six children in total now. So that gave me the strength and I've endured and they love me for it. And you get the rewards of that from those children as life goes on. Him? He's looking at it from a high price. Oh, I got this money, and no, I'm not taking care of your kids. <clears throat> well, that type of thing. But it's different circumstances. And for me, my circumstances was, I'm looking at the person. Not the fact just because you have children, that doesn't take away from the woman. That doesn't mean that she's less of a woman because she has children. And now you see the progression, you grow with each other. So it's more than just, looking at those kids without their father. It's, 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 it's different. That's me speaking from my own experience. Um, I have a totally different um, angle coming from here. I mean, I know you say he's probably coming from a high value. I got money, something like that. I don't think it has anything to do with that. I just think as, as a man with value, someone, like you said, someone who is single, no kids, you know, probably got a good job, um, has his own home, doing whatever it is. Why would you go for somebody? Why would you go for a ready-made family? Mm -hmm. Me personally, if I was in that position, I would not do that. Mm -hmm. I, 
I don't think it's a strategic move. I don't think really it's a smart move as a, as a single per person on his purpose and has goals. If you want to date and, you know, maybe smash here and there or <laughs> something like that. Yeah. But <clears throat> a man of value is not going to go down. I mean, they're just not. To me, I'm just saying, I would not go that route. I would not take that type of route. And there, I've seen, matter of fact, I went to a wedding where this man married a woman. She already had four or five kids already. Okay. All right. And he married her in it. Anyhow, I'm like. So, so let me say this. Everybody <clears throat> has the right to their opinion and how they live their life, right? Ideally, you won't just run and jump into a situation like, all right, well, you know, ideally, as a even as a parent, you would probably let your son or daughter know you start your own. You start off from scratch. You do you you make your own children and you build them up like that. Ideally, that's the template that people say you don't want to be there. But the way the world is, it's not ideal. I mean, it's so many circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Me and my wife have been together over 22 years. And if I wouldn't have been with her, I wouldn't have been able to experience that duration of love that we have built on and the rest on and the family that we have. If I'd have been like, nah, you know, she got kids. Cause you know, before she had kids, I, I liked her, but we didn't really get together until afterwards, but that's how life is. But we managed to come together. But yeah, I know, ideally, that's not the thing. He's like, all right, well, you make sure you meet that woman with no children and a and high profile job or something like legit, nobody that's crazy doing something, no, no bad background, as much as possible, clean, and you build a life with them and then you have your kids and the dog and the house and picket fence mm -hmm. and all that stuff. You know, but a lot of people are not receiving that. See, yeah, I really see. I understand. I would understand if folks were older. All right, if you're older, you meet somebody who's older. Of course, you're more than likely you're gonna have. They're gonna have kids. Okay, and I can understand that. Or in my case, where I have kids and my fiance has kids, and we just come together as blended. You know what I mean? Like the Brady Bunch. Yeah, like the Brady Bunch. You know, we come together like that. But it doesn't. And you don't have to be a high profile, you know, Ali Sartre. Just if you are a man of value and you pride yourself on taking that path to be about your purpose, like I say, you, you have no kids and that's on purpose, okay? Um, you've, you've been meeting all your goals, you know, you got your house, you got that job that you want, you got that car. You know, you're single, you're doing what you're doing. It's strategically, it's not the right move. It's just not the right move. In my opinion, it's just not. It's just, it's just, <clears throat> I, yeah, like you said, that's what is the basic template, you know, that, uh, yes, you start from ground zero and you build your foundation with this person that doesn't have any baggage or no background or no children anything that can hem you up later that's yeah that's very ideal and a lot of people will follow that route route and but you have a lot of people now that you find that that won't because it's like well you might not find that person like the person that you're looking for like that that has not no children they might have a job that might not really click or you might get together and it might not last long so sometimes the stuff that you're looking for, you might not receive that by trying to take these other routes. I mean, but yeah, like I said, from a, from a fatherly standpoint, I, I, I would say to myself, hey, if this person has children, you should wait and maybe go with something, because you, are you ready for that? I know how it is, because I've been there, and I, you know, and I grew through that, so I can tell anybody from experience you gotta be tough to deal with that type of situation and have endurance to deal but would with you it. think you had to 
but what you think you had to do before your time, you know what I mean? You went into a situation with a ready-made, okay? And you had to endure all this before you really had to. You, know? you could, I mean, love is love. You're gonna love who you love. It just happens. Yeah, I was gonna you're, say that. Yeah, you're gonna love who you love. I mean, yeah. it happens. But personally, I think if I was a single person, I had my own stuff and I would I would not go that wrong. But it depends on the age too. Like if you're yeah. young, if you're young, you can do that. And when you start to get up in your 30s, mid 30s, and you hit your 40s, it's a little different because you're gonna start running into people who have kids. But their their kids are probably going to be more, they're gonna be older or out the house already. Right? Yeah. If you're if you're in your late 30s, early 40s, and you meet somebody and they got a, a fresh out the oven, <laughs> fresh out the oven kid, I'm like, nah, I'm gonna pass that up. <laughs> I'm gonna pass that up. Yeah, I, I think that <clears throat> it's very different now, and people have more uh, of a leverage, you know, some. But now with all the way situations are like it's kind of back and forth because at one point it seemed like it's easier to do that but now how the way the world is at this current state with all the COVID and stuff it might not be as easy to do that so even like you know i don't want to get off on that because it might be a different topic so <clears throat> but i will say that you have to be strong to do this to be able to do that but ideally most people will say, no, I am not going to do that. But I fell in love. We fell in love. We went from, I went from a, a, a young man with, with no children to eventually four because we had twins. <laughs> two kids, the four kids, the more kids. <laughs> and now we have six children, which, like I said, I, I wouldn't trade it for the world because it's the way they love me. You know, the love that my, my son and my daughter, you know, you understand? So yeah. I would never trade that because I know that it comes back, they appreciate me. And us as a family unit is, is strong. You know, but I get it. I do get it. Because I would, I'd be like, son, <laughs> nah, <laughs> you see that girl over there? You might want to go for her because, you know, she got a job mm -hmm. and she not have any children. But that's the only advice you can give them. They're gonna do what they wanna do. But choose the way you choose. Yeah, I just I just personally wouldn't do it. And I, I personally agree with Huff, you know? I hear he's a brash, arrogant piece of crap. But what he said to him- Are you down with that? Yeah, but, <laughs> but what he said to me, it, I, I, I agree, I would say, where's the lie? <laughs> you know, on average, why would you go that route? If you're a man of value, why would you go that route? It would, you know, it would just seem that you don't have options or you feel that you didn't have options or you weren't confident enough to have that, those options. You know, yeah. that is a man of value. But- I, I, you know, I do understand. I understand it. I do. But now yeah. we've talked about a man of value. Okay, let's talk about a high value man. Me. <laughs> a high value man. <laughs> um, <clears throat> now there's this online dating coach. I think his name, his name is Kevin Sanders. Okay. He's this high value man, six figure type of guy. He gives um <clears throat> he gives dating tips and life tips to both men and women. Okay. He choose he chews them up. He chews men up. He sets them straight. Like, look, if you ain't doing, if you ain't on your grind, and you ain't about your purpose, you dusty. You know what I mean? He chews them up, and he also chews the women up. But the women are the ones who are getting bent out of shape when he does it. You know, saying you're being disrespectful. And there's this one clip I'm gonna show you real quick here. I think I, I, think I have it. There it is. I'm gonna share that. All right. Uh, let me see if I have. Can you see that? Yeah. You can see all of them here. Let me get. Let me. Let me drop some of it down. Ah. I want. I want this one here. Yeah. You see that? See this clip right here? 
Well, right now I see the lady. Yeah, that's yeah. the clip. That's the clip. Okay. Um, the guy in the left hand corner, that's Kevin Sanders. Okay. And the woman in the in the middle, she's the one to call in. This is the one that went that blew up on the internet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because women all over are in an uproar over Kevin Sanders. Because first of all, she called in on the wrong night. Okay. Um, and she wanted to get some free advice when you're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to call, call in and to pay. You gotta pay this man for the advice mm -hmm. that he's gonna get. So I think basically he made an example of her. But they were telling her that she he called her average and she can't, you know, she can't get a high value man. But she called herself average. You know, I I watched the whole clip. She called herself average. She said she's a six foot makeup, five without. Okay. She put that up. Now this woman, she makes six figures on her own. She makes six figures. Okay. And she has a child. I think he's like 13 or something like that. All right. And she says, you know, she wants to have a she wants to get a high value man, a high earning man. And he told her, he said, you're average at best. Wow. All right. Because that's what she said. She pretty much she said that she's average. She called herself a five. Five without makeup, six with. That's average. Okay, and she was looking for a high value man. And he told her for flat out, like, yo, high value men ain't looking for you. They're not looking for average men. I mean, average women. All right, let me close this up. We don't get to see her anymore. <laughs> but no, yeah. I mean, like, <clears throat> well, she had the six figures, right? She yeah. Six figures, you said, right? Mm -hmm. Right, even if she is average, she can want to have a high value man because all right, she might think the value as what she's actually creating, which is just six figures. So she, I mean, I think like a lot of women might want someone that can do a little more for them than what they do for themselves. I'm not saying all, but that might be a thing. Like, well, you know, take some of the burden off. If, if you're doing more and that's less I have to do, then, you know, so I can relax more and be pampered and stuff like that. That could be a mindset. So her wanting to have a, a high value man is all in her right to want that. Yeah, and I have. Yeah, him telling her like, oh no, you you can't get it. Is like he is one for saying he can't. Because who's to say she can't? Well, let's put it this way. All right, I agree with what you're saying. You are you're allowed to want what you want and prefer what you prefer. The problem right. is you got to be prepared that the person that you want might not want you or the person that you prefer might not prefer you. That's what he is getting at. He's getting at that because he was saying a high value man is one, he's making, oh, he's making six figures, okay? His body is tight, he's, take, he's well taken care of, he's well groomed. He has no kids, he has his own business, own house. He is on his grind, you know, he's just, he's he's the total package. Mind you, it's, it's only 10% of the uh, of men out there like that. Not just black, just all, just all around, you know? And they're looking for someone like that. They're looking for the cream of the crop, not in money because men don't care, high value men or just men up here don't care about your money because we don't have access to it anyhow. You're not taking your money and spending it on us. We're taking ours and spending it on them. Well, some do, some do. Some do, but not like that. <laughs> not not like, you know, you might be like, I'm gonna take care of you. You know, you feel yeah. me, I'm gonna go home, got the money, do my thing. You know, some women do that, they, yeah. they sugar mom. But at the end of the day, we value things different. Women value security men value folks okay when it comes to dating and a hot like i said a high value man is trying to get that that eye candy he's trying to get that fine model chip okay they're not going after 
fives and sixes. They're going after eight, nines, and tens, okay? They want the eye candy, they don't care. And if, like he said in this show, if a high value man has an average looking woman, he's had her before he became her. He's had her in the beginning and kept her, okay? Right. And, but what? Those women <laughs> are the realer and more genuine women. When you go and try to meet somebody that holds all the looks and all the glamour, how many surgeries does she have? Face, body, whatever, you don't know. All yeah. this stuff is trying to maintain. They are not really real with even themselves. But that's the thing, they don't care. They don't care. That's it, they don't care about that. They're not, they're, no one, they're just looking for that eye candy and they're looking for that smash. You know, they take them out to dinner, wine and dine, they smash them with that. They want that look good. Okay, they're not looking for average, average schmuck. She's she's a five. You know, when they go to bed, they want to wake up to something fine. Okay, they don't want to wake up to Ugma. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he told her, "Say you're an average woman. Why not try to get an average man?" Okay, but I mean, I understand that part. But like I said, you can want what you want. Like I said. If she wants a high, a high value man, she needs to know what she what they what they want, where they're located at. You know, they, she needs to know all the things that go with a high value man, and then step up her game. Okay, if you just walk up to them like, "Yo, I make six figures. What's up?" They're gonna look mm -hmm. at you like, "No, no, no, no." No matter who you are, man or woman, you have to step up your game to get what you want. So listen, let me say this. The dating game is a lot like the faking game. <laughs> a lot of people are faking on both sides. Man, they're like, yeah, I'm doing this, doing that. I'm putting on the show. And the woman is doing the same thing. And that fine woman that he has won't look as fine without makeup on all the time, you know? And the guy might not even really want to have her for a long time or be with her like to marry her. It might. And the woman might want that. So it's like, that's that clock. You are putting on these facades. You're not looking at the real person. You're looking on the outside. So you're looking about the money, you're looking about the looks. She's looking for the money. He's looking for the looks. It's both, it's both fake. You're whole, trying to hold it up. There's nothing real about that. I mean, I, I understand that. Like I said, you're not going to pull what you want to pull unless you step up your game, OK, in all areas. You know, she, she work out, hook up your body. You know what I mean? Um, go out and find out where they hang out. Listen and learn and step up your game. Like I said, the six figures doesn't mean anything to a man. You'd be making $200,000 a year or $20,000 a year. Okay, It does not matter to a man because we don't have access to your money. You're not, a woman's not freely just giving you money. We don't have access to that, so we don't care. They don't care about that. We don't care about that, okay? Some guys try to be pimps, man, so they- Well, that's, that's, not, that's not a high value man. No, no, no. The guy, yeah, he's not high value, but it's like if they, a guy that might not be on that level uh, financially, will be like, hey, you six figures? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good, take care of me. No, see, that's, that's not a high value man. That's not a high value man. Yeah, well, that's what we're talking. No, no, no. We're talking about high value man or men value. They're, we're not, that's a that's a dusty. That's a dusty. That's basically, dusty. if you're on um, a higher level, basically, and, and uh, you have ownership and all this stuff going for you, your 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 uh, expectation is going to be up here. It can't be down here. You got to be looking like uh, Miss America and all this stuff and have you know all this going for you on the outside for me to even think about it basically it's like even if you don't even if you make even if you're single making 50 and 60 thousand dollars a year you're comfortable you're pretty much comfortable and you got your own house own car and whatever and you're making 60 and you have no kids you're still you're not high high enough, but you are a man of value you are yeah <laughs> you're and you have you have resources networking you know you can bring something to the table even those type of men are not looking for they are looking for the cream of the crop okay they're not looking for her 
she could probably be making more money than him. But if if she's not appealing to him, he ain't gonna go after that. He's not gonna go after that, you know. And that's what some women don't seem to understand. I mean, Kevin Samuel, well, he was blunt, you know. Said so, and told her, said, "Yo, you're average at best. You don't know where to find these men at." And these men aren't checking for you. You're checking for them because you're looking for that money. You're looking for that security or hypergamy. You're looking for that. But they're not checking for you. They're checking for the cream of the crop. And some of them don't under, do not understand that, you know? And there's all these, I've seen all these videos of women dogging him. You know, who you think you're talking to? You down, you know, down on a black woman and stuff like that. But hello? If you don't step up, every if you don't step up your game, you're not going to get that person. Okay, you're not going to get that high value man, or you're not going to get that fifty, sixty thousand dollar man. You're not if you don't step up your game. Same with men. You're not going to get that that fly model that's you know standing up. You're not going to get that if your game ain't up and your mouthpiece ain't up. You ain't getting that. <laughs> you know, and I it just it, it just don't I understand. No. I understand exactly what you're saying, man. And yeah, I mean, the, both of the guys that were in a well in the right belt, uh, the young, the lady just didn't feel like you can tell me that, you know, she felt hurt, her feelings was hurt by him saying that to her. And like that, a lot of people heard that, you know, her ego was crushed. So now she looked, she went there looking for some some upliftment, some some encouragement, some you know, give me some advice that's gonna make me feel like, all right, I'm gonna do this next. He didn't do that. Instead, he said, let me take this axe, cut you, cut you down <laughs> from your knees on down, <laughs> and take this back. I'm gonna beat you down with this with the with the truth, his truth. So he said, I'm gonna here, you you average. Here, you average. You're not gonna get uh, you know, a high value man or a value man. Cause you said that you are average at best. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He he didn't say that she said she she said that she is average. And he told her, he told her that you have no clue how to get a high value man. You have no clue. You want that. Okay, like I said, it's okay to want that. But what you want doesn't want you. Okay, what you prefer doesn't prefer you. All right. So how are you gonna get that? You might as well be trying to find somebody at the post office. <laughs> you know? No business for the post service. You know, we want to get our mail. I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> they're, they're, average, they're average people, you know what I mean? Like I said, a six-figure man or a high, those type of high volume men, there's only 10% of them on the planet. So how are you going to pull them? How are you going to pull me? You have no idea what you're at. A high value. This person needs a lottery, man. You know, sometimes they think nobody's going to win that, that mega million, but it has <laughs> happened. You know? <laughs> like I say, you don't know, you don't, you have no clue on how to pull a high value man or a just a man of value. You have no idea, you have no idea how to pull them. Okay. And she said, she also said that. She's, she, she feels that she can only submit to a man, be submissive to a man if he's uh, uh, making six figures. So which lets me know you doubt, you think anybody who makes less than that to say if they're making 50, 50 or 60,000, they're, they're just above you, they're, you know, they're below you, they're peasants and stuff like that. And I'm like- that's, just, that's the same thing he's saying. Like she can't get higher than her. She's mm -hmm. saying they can't get, Nobody lower than me. So mm -hmm. they're both don't saying the same thing. He's saying, look, you want somebody higher than you, but you average. And you telling these other guys, if you're not making what I make, you're not gonna get with me. So it's all like a financial thing. That's like a taste of our own medicine if you look at it that way. Yeah. It just it just kills me. Now I have a um I have some list of what makes a person high value. Let me, let me see if I can pop that up. Or let me get a little bit of definitions of what a high value person is. Well, high value is us, you know, control the cool guys. We yeah. all yeah. 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 We 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 in there. We in there. Uh, here goes one. A high value man knows how to master his mind, movement by movement, 
moment by moment by moment, he has a positive outlook because he knows he can be, do or have anything he puts his mind to. He doesn't allow any negative to occupy his mind. He puts his mind to positive mode and can write on 10 things he's grateful for at the moment. That's just one, that's just one definition of being you know, a high value person, a high value man. And um, you see, I think there's another one here. You see here. Yeah, this um, one here? Yeah, this one right here. I'll read this one here. Yeah, yeah. How can a man be high value? One of the many attractive traits of a high value man is his assertiveness. He is a man who knows what he wants, pursues what he wants, and will not accept anything less than just that. He is strategic and intentional, especially when it comes to dating. Yeah. <laughs> Can you see this one right here? Can you see this one? Let me see. The basic. No, no, you can't see it up. All right, let me get down for you. Let me get down for you. Uh, let me see here. Share that. There you go. The basics oh. to male high value traits. He's emotionally intelligent. Two, he has a purpose. Of course, you got to have a purpose. If you have no purpose, what you want this planet for? <laughs> he takes care of himself. Like I said, he works out, takes care of his inside and out, make sure he's looking good, make sure he's groomed, you know, he ain't dusty, has high self-esteem. He yeah. generates his own self-esteem, okay? He knows power not, uh, power dynamics, which is definitely what you need. You know what to say, when to say it, and how to say it, you know, how to assert yourself and be dominant, all right? He's honest to his own value system. He has a growth mindset, which is key to always growing. You know, high value men, high value men, master this. Men of value have some aspects of trying to get to that point. The greats, you know. <laughs> and, and if I don't have them all, I will get them. <laughs> you know. And it's just that I think women, there's like a double standard here, you know. Women can want this, they can want that. He can be this, he needs to be this tall, he needs to be making this amount of money, he needs to be this built, he needs to have this type of car, he needs to have this um, um, like a scroll of things that they want, which is fine. That I mean, I'm not knocking it, which is fine. But when a man asks for that, has standards and wants this, wants that, this type of hair, this type of look, this type of something like that, all of a sudden it's an issue. It's an issue. Okay. I get that. I do hear that. You know, um, it, it can't be one way. It, it shouldn't be one way. If you want what you want. He can want what he wants, prefer what he prefers, you prefer what you prefer, and keep it pushing. If you're not good for each other, next. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good. So, you know, we're going to get into a segment that I often like. And, and unfortunately, my, my, my boy, uh, Mr. Kinsler, is not here to not guess it. But we got the book, <laughs> Sue's Book of Cool. Where I do my thing artistically and try to see if Joe Funk, Funky Doodler can actually figure this out. <laughs> We're gonna put this up here right now. I don't know if the lighting is good enough. No, that's per not. that that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. Um. Looks like it's two words. Two it's two words. words. I'll give you that. It's one uh, word on the top, word on the bottom. Okay. Um, let me see, it looks like a family there. And I'm trying to figure out. Mm. Uh, let me see here, let me see here. Oh man, it's two words. Uh, how to go from the man with the hat on and to the other side. That's kind of how the front is that way. Too, uh, think about the struggle. A little bit. Struggle. You know? 
Strong, strong man. Oh man. <laughs> There's no something there. Don't I, just... I'm trying to guess, man. I'm trying to. I'm so looking at. Look, as long as I've been doing this, y'all should be trying to catch on to it, like. The <laughs> I'm, try, I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to see the first letter. I'm. I'm trying to get the first letter, and I'm. I'm just. I'm struggling with the first letter. Oh, man. I'm looking. I'm looking to try to piece out a, a letter. I can't see. You want to buy a value? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Can I get out? Can I get an impact? <laughs> <laughs> I say, well, listen, man. You you gonna be here all week? I know. Bro. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna just let you know. It was true value. Oh man. Where the T at? Where the T at? T oh. did. Yeah, it started there. Like like the T like, was the bottom of the hat. Right? Yeah, boom. You know, it came across. And I'm, I'm not gonna give you my tricks, but sometimes I do some stuff and, and you're gonna know that's when I do that and that's that letter. That's how you right. might keep some of this, but you know, once again, Slim Suliart does it, the word of art. Is <laughs> True value. That the crown is the E. Oh man. Uh -huh. Got it. The yeah. two crowns are the E. Oh man. Yeah. I missed I missed that so big time. Basically, the reason why I chose this word is because we were talking about value, high value, low, um, you know, high value man and all that stuff. But I'm saying the true value is what's really inside, and that comes from love. So that's why you got these <laughs> hearts in because to me, that's the true value of it all. If you love someone, it shouldn't matter how many figures you got because the makeup wears off. And when you get old, this stuff starts to droop and you can't hold it together no more. <laughs> so real life, if you're looking for longevity, the superficial washes away. If you're looking for, you be in there for a month and we gonna go out to a couple of dinners and all this stuff, okay. But if you're looking for the long run, Look for that true value. <laughs> well, we're gonna, my man did his thing, but we're gonna end this right now. But before we end this, um, leave a comment, share, and subscribe to our page. Definitely leave a comment. We want, we want to know your opinions on this. Okay, this is a um, very juicy topic. You know. Some folks might get really triggered over this, but, <laughs> but you know, these are these are our views. You know, like I said, we as you can tell, we had two definitely two different views. We definitely had two different views. And we're still gonna be friends by the end of the day. That's right. You know, <laughs> oh no, oh you gonna say oh snap we on live, eh? No. Yeah. Each other, we have our own mindset. And this is how it is. We still control the cool. Definitely, definitely. We know the cool all the time. Yeah. So if you have something for us to react to or have our opinions, uh, just let us know. We will have the, our email at the bottom of the screen. Boom. And just give us a holler and we'll take a look at it and we'll make sure that we will have it up for our next episode. But until then, I'm Joe Woods. This is my boy. All right. We make the rules, so we control 